and both the victim's family and the suspect's families were inside the courtroom this morning for this case. Shea Fuller and Nathan Vasquez were arrested last night for the murder of Marcus Devlin. We were inside this morning. You can see from the video Vasquez mouthing the words to his family members, I didn't do it. On Saturday night around 8.30, police responded to a call on Freemason Road in Hudson. They found 34-year-old Marcus Devlin dead. This morning, family members of the victim and the suspect spoke with us. The victim's wife told me she didn't understand why her husband was killed. <laughs> Over what? I do not know. Tomorrow, I'll be looking into the case to see if police have gone through any more warrants and hopefully have more information for you. Hickory police say a woman was hit and killed here after she stepped directly into the path of an oncoming train. Well, the homeowners here on Riverbend Road woke up to find two intruders had broken into their home through their basement. The homeowner then took action into his own hands. Lenore police are still investigating the Friday night shooting on Atwood Drive that left a 15 year old boy dead. A domestic dispute between a married couple quickly turned into a dispute between another couple. It all happened down this dead end dirt road off of County Home Road west of Conover. I was there as police escorted the injured suspect, Matthew Pardue, into the patrol car. Camera out my face. Jamie, you can see the blood stains on his clothes. His injuries come from getting into a fight and breaking into a home through a window. We are joined by an international entertainer. He's actually from this area and he's performing this weekend in Newton Conover. And he is Sammy Cortino. Thank you so much for calling in. Step into it. Don't be afraid to step into it. Yep, there you go. It's properties like this one behind me that the town manager says needs to be fixed. You can barely tell that there's a house right here from all the trees and weeds growing up around it. Back to back robberies at the same place by the same suspect. Police are still trying to track that person down. I'm told he robbed this Sausalitas restaurant around the same time on Saturday and Sunday. He walked straight up to the register and um, signaled me over and told me to give him all the money in the register or he would sh start shooting people. Last Wednesday, Lenore police officers responded to a single vehicle accident along this highway, US 321. Apparently someone had called saying there was a car stuck in a ditch, but when police got here, no one was here. Instead, they found out that the car actually belonged to an elderly man who lives just around the corner from here. They went to that home and found that, that man had been assaulted along with another key item. We are learning more about this homicide investigation. I just spoke with family members this afternoon, and they tell me that this tragic incident was all over a mistaken identity. Please, please come and tell the, tell the police department that you shot and killed my nephew, and he was not the right person that you were looking for. Please, please, man. Around 2 a.m. Saturday morning, police found Octavius Jeter near this wooded area on 2nd Street in Hickory. There was a party for one of the residents' children, and it apparently got out of hand after a fight began downstairs. I'm standing in Sullivan's backyard right now in Morganton off of Rose Carswell Road, and the neighbors tell me they used to see him quite frequently shooting off his BB gun at these targets. Is that there some from time to time shooting his gun off? He had a uh, BB gun, pistol BB gun, and he was had different targets set up, and he'd run around and shoot shoot those targets, you know, that uh, really it made me uncomfortable. I'm serious, it made me uncomfortable. It was from behind this fence where neighbors say Sullivan would shoot. They described him as a strange man. They said he never said anything to them. Monday afternoon, hunters found a human skull in this area near Lake James. This is just off Powerhouse Road in Burke County. Now, yesterday we also learned that in addition to the skull, Investigators also found nine other bones. Several cars were broken into all in the Kentwood neighborhood in Lenore. But what's strange about some of these break-ins is that the owners say they didn't notice anything was missing. The owner of this car said he was just getting ready to come outside and go to work when he noticed the top of his car had been ripped open. You can see the damage here. It looks like someone took a knife and ripped through the convertible top. Practice is getting off the subject for a little bit. Can we expect another season of that in the future or no? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I know that I had a great time. Uh, uh, you know, Shonda Rhimes is, uh, is a, an amazing creator herself. Yes. Um, we'll see. 
Well, I certainly look forward to it. And also, getting a little bit personal, as far as your book that you had um, come out, The Chocolate Me, can you tell me what is, where did that come from? What inspired it? He always had a smile on his face, work ethic. I mean, what more can you ask for of somebody? 17-year-old David Alston Sane was killed yesterday afternoon in a crash after he failed to yield to an oncoming tractor trailer. Sane was a junior at St. Stephen's. He was also a member of the football team. A very tragic accident. More than 100 people showed up here tonight to honor David Sane. Many of them had on these buttons a picture of the 17-year-old student athlete. His family was also here tonight. I am told he was the only child and only grandchild. Now, due to safety reasons, I did wear this bulletproof vest during the ride along. So snow is continuously falling heavy. It's not enough to make a snowball yet, but I'm pretty sure by the end of the night I'll be able to. So don't be like me and go chase the weather. Stay inside and stay warm. If you do have to get on the roads, you need to be extremely cautious as it will be slippery on the roadways. Even on the main roads, parts of Highway 321 is a little slippery as well. Reporting in Caldwell County, I am Ventress Chestnut. Ralph, I'm going to send it back to you.